have an interesting topic for today, and that's gravity in MWO. But what am I going to talk about? It's just gravity. But what you may not know is that the gravity in MechWarrior is almost four times that of normal. And it is that way because of a trick your brain plays on you with scaling and displacement. When we are living our lives, we expect things that are human sized to move at certain rates. When a person jumps into the air and falls back down, the speed that the person falls at just feels right. That's because it's what we're used to. If you change something about this, it can feel wrong. For example, if gravity is lowered, like in the footage from the Apollo astronauts, it looks like they are falling in slow motion. While changes in gravity can lead to pretty predictable results in our perception, where our brain fails is when we have a change of scale. In the game, the mechs are quite large compared to a person. They range from 9 to 15 meters tall, and they are modeled at that size. There was a player on the forums who exported the models to a crisis map, and they were properly scaled against all the buildings and vehicles. The thing is, when you are piloting something of that size, it simply doesn't feel like it's that large. You feel like you're in a mech that is only 9 to 15 feet tall. This is where our perception of scaling is important. If we don't have an external means to base our scaling off of, we simply do not know how large our mech is. This is a problem with several of the maps currently in the game. They don't give us a proper feeling of scale. That topic alone could be its own video, but I will get into it in the future in a what I would change video. If we don't have something to base our scale off of, our minds default to our standard human size scale. The problem that this perception of ours creates is that if our brains are defaulting to our human scale, but the game is in a larger scale, everything seems like it falls and moves in seemingly slow motion. This is related to displacement. For example, say we have a 5 meter long car and a 200 meter long cruise ship. They are both moving at 10 meters per second or 36 kilometers per hour. While they are both moving at the same absolute speed, if we are sitting in the car, we would say that it is moving faster. This is because the same time frame of say one second, the car moves two times its length while the cruise ship only moves one twentieth of its. This is an extreme example compared to mech sizes, but the exact same thing occurs when we view a mech falling or moving in the game. This is why gravity has been greatly increased. By doing this, the rates at which mechs fall is closer to our expected perception in our human scale. Gravity in the game is now set at negative 36.3 meters per second squared, which is 3.7 times that of normal gravity at negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, I don't have the ability to change the gravity in the game, what I can do is slow down or speed up my footage to give an idea of what different gravity amounts would look like. Take a look at this comparison of the same jump under different gravity values. Here we have a Timberwolf jumping into the air. On the left is the current gravity value of the game at negative 36.3, and on the right is the normal we would expect on Earth at negative 9.8. From the apex of the jump, the one on the left takes just under 1.2 seconds to fall. Knowing this and the strength of gravity, we can calculate exactly how high that jump was. Running the numbers, we end up with a jump height of approximately 25 meters, which seems appropriate as the Timberwolf in this demonstration is just over 12 meters tall. Now knowing this height, we can calculate how long it would take to fall that distance in normal gravity. This results in the right side of this comparison, where it takes about 2.3 seconds for the mech to fall the distance. This is the correct rate at which a mech would fall on Earth. If the left side was actually under normal gravity, and the time it takes to fall was correct, then its jump height would only be about 7 meters instead of 25. Under this scale, mechs feel like they are around 3 meters tall and that fits better with our human sized perceptions. Things falling and moving are closer to expected rates, and if you show this comparison to someone outside of the game, I believe that they would be far more likely to say that the left example feels correct, and the right feels just too slow. And this is why we have vastly increased gravity in MechWarrior Online. Thanks for listening, and good hunting.